Your fist is the one that broke that thing open, huh? Did you break your hand? No, he didn't break it. That's actually Mike. Coach, did you break it? You shouldn't have come here. Welcome to Earth. I don't think anyone can question the effectiveness of a tomahawk. I do have some questions about the limitations of a tomahawk as a weapon, either in self-defense, home defense, civil unrest, whatever, a weapon when used on the enemy. Plus, we are going to be torture testing and comparing the SOG tomahawk, the cold steel tomahawk, and the Columbia River knife and tool. I would have said cricket. <laughs> well, I'm always afraid when I say cricket, they're like, it's not cricket, yeah. it's CRKT. Yeah. Or, you know, like, yeah. I'm like, well, okay. we're gonna be comparing these and contrasting. There went the unboxing for that one. Here, <laughs> unbox this one. No. Unbox this one. Okay. This one, this one's a little slender guy. This one is a, is a little thick. He's got a big thick boy handle, yeah. but that's the, the big man. Listen, safety first. Stop swinging these things around all willy nilly. <laughs> right? So uh, let's. Do you, do you guys immediately have a favorite? <coughs> One that you kind of like? Here, handle them all. I like Somebody. Somebody's gonna get hurt today. Somebody's gonna get hurt today. I like this one. You like that one? Yeah. I mean, yeah, this one already is kind of long. You, well, you are. Like I kind of want to like hold it up like higher. You want to uh, choke up on it? We'll talk a little bit about that. This, I want. Yeah, I want to use two hands. Well, on whoever's the biggest and strongest should probably use that one. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, what? <laughs> also, real quick, this video is not sponsored. I bought all this stuff with my own money, uh, but I'll put links down in the description below if you want to go check out any of the items we're reviewing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ow, God Almighty! What? You just snatched the tomahawk from me and stabbed me in the hand with the corner. Please move carefully. Every, every, this one is sharp all the way around. This is sharp. This is sharp. It's all the way sharp. Please be careful. <laughs> all right. You this oaf. Person, this person that got hurt today. Yeah. Yep. We're going to give an experiential analysis of it, like ac the actual using of it, our opinions of it. We're going to do it. How destructive are they? We're going to try to destroy this thing. Yes. But I think a tomahawk is the ultimate, like, zombie killing weapon. Yep. Because they're slow. Uh, and they just lumber around and you need one good shot that goes all the way through the dome and really Does the trick, you know, and a tomahawk does that better than I think just about anything the downside to a tomahawk I think and this may or may not be an issue. I don't know. I don't know that we have a lot of modern data on Whacking dudes with tomahawks. My thing is if you stick a tomahawk in a person's body or arm or anything like if I if I stick it in there do, do, Does it ever get stuck? Yeah, like this one has a uh this so when that goes in there let me get him in some oh oh yeah oh, <laughs> so but like look it's stuck spike that guy <laughs> spike him oh i didn't know you had something up in there oh no Hell yeah. <laughs> that thing is done if i broke yeah it. we broke him ew <laughs> what is that uh, i guess it's blood no, I put a I put a bag of of fake blood. In. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong, Mike? Why you look so sad? <laughs> this isn't real. Like that's not a real zombie. This isn't like a real test. I think there's a real a very real threat and I think it's a perfect test for the tomahawk because I think a tomahawk is the the poorest choice for a very real very dangerous threat to humanity, and I have one with me. Do you know what the most dangerous threat to humanity is? You know what keeps me awake at night? Fucking robots, man. Please <laughs> let me go. You got way too much time on your hands. <laughs> so I captured this robot, no. and I think a tomahawk I came here to help. is a terrible choice of weapon against a robot. Please oh yeah, listen. that's gonna bounce right back up. But out. when they attack, you are in danger. You know, this might be what's in your hand. So we're going to test these against this there is a to your and see what gives first, the robot or the tomahawk. They told me you could help. Because that's, that's, because that's what I'm doing at work today. <laughs> <laughs> Before we destroy these things, so let's test the speed. Like, let's see which one's fastest. We are running right? out of We're time. each going to have a coconut. We'll each have two coconuts. What is wrong with you? And one tomahawk. And we're going to uh, toss them around at each other. 
hands. Oh no. Oh yeah, Nate can't. <laughs> no one ever played catch your ball with Nate. Oh my God, it's terrible. If you watch the nunchuck video we did, we were out here forever. He could not hit. So I, I'll tell you right now, if I was chopping that dresser, I would come up like this and I would Yeah, like, but no, you're like in a this. fight. There's yeah. a bad guy coming. All Think right. about like those droids yeah. that shoot the little lasers. You yeah. know what I mean? Those yeah, little... you're not going like this with it. <laughs> this is a speed test, not a power test. Yeah. One, two. Oh, one out of two. There you go. Oh, you got good. it. Yeah. Got a piece of it. There you go. Been working on the swing. Yeah. So Nate got uh, two. Yeah, well, yeah, I, was, I hope you wouldn't miss that. <laughs> Like, kind of whip them around, just, yeah, like, see it? Because oh, that I, one's I, longer. I like this one. Chuck me some coconuts. People eat that. Throw it! Oh. Oh. Backhand's hard. You wanna, yeah, you want to backhand it again? Yeah, spin it back, fist it. Ah, too far out. Dude, there's no way I can see that time. He's spinning around too, he's not. There we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hit your fist. That was my hand. <laughs> Did you break your hand? No, he didn't break it. That's icy Mike. Coach, did you break it? Mm -hmm. That's um, the big blood. Ooh. No, that's, that's, oh. <laughs> so then what do you think broke it? The coconut. I'm saying, what do you think broke the coconut? Oh, my finger. Yeah. That's weird looking, yeah. Squeeze it out. It feels funny. It feels like shaped funny. It feels like tight. It feels like more of my fingers yeah. over here. Yeah, yeah that bruised really fast. It's a little bulgy over here. Squeeze that shit out. Squeeze what out? That purple shit on there. Uh, this is 12 hours later. It's a little bit swollen, and that's kind of weird. That's how much I can mend it versus this one. Uh, and I want each of us to hit it with each one and see what, how you feel about how we... Yeah, I was using two hands like a baseball kind of grip. Columbia River Knife and Tool. This handles better. Yeah, yeah. That, like, the, the curve. It handles better and the handles better. Yeah. Oh, it's that hand, it's the grip. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this is the, but this is the problem with this one. It gets stuck? Well, because it's bearded. It's got the big beard on it. Yeah. 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 Throw it, do it. There you go. You're chopping at an angle too, yeah. I went yeah, straight that, out. that helps, yeah. Yeah. Wanna go straight? Fine. Yeah, go straight at it. Oh yeah. We'll get another. We gotta totally tear this thing up because it won't fit in my hammer. So this is with the sog. You in the same spot? Yeah, I know. Go pick a new spot. <sighs> Damn. That's funny. I feel like we did more damage with He's no no, because he hurt himself. So now he's being scared, timid, nervous. Yeah. Well, it slips. It's yeah. very slick. Well, yeah, we're sweating and covered in fake blood. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and some real blood. <laughs> and, I, you know, in a fight for your life, you will be sweaty and bloody. Yep. Good draw. There Ooh. you go. All right. Cold steel. Beginner's luck. Should I take that out or? No, man, it'll look cool. Yeah. Woo! What's the that? KG, What's yeah. Up? Beginner's luck. Oh! <laughs> hey, good job, man. Yeah. yeah three, good. bro. Yeah, yeah, Beginner. Good. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't gonna throw it. Sog. Sog. All right, that was a little more blunt force trauma. Come on, expert. Step how you. Okay. You set it up how you, you did want. Fine. It's when it rolls out the hand. Let the pinky. Oh my Push your God. pinky Shut up. and let the how, how pinky you rotate it. When you hit one? <laughs> let, let the pinky rotate it. Cricket! <laughs> Sock! Sock! This goes into the abyss. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> That's because of his finger! You know what I mean? Whoa, man! <laughs> Cold steel. Use that one to free this one. Put another hack. <laughs> yeah, so that's the problem with the cold steel one. We don't need to chop that up. Right. We need to get it to where it'll fit in the Hummer. There you go. There you go. <laughs> get Bruin or Battle Hammer over here out of the way. Come on, man, back up. It's this hit your little pinky. Yeah. Did that hit, like this part yeah. hit the pinky of the wheel? Yeah, that hurt. Yeah. This is like a, a thin, hard piece of metal with corners, and it's going right there. And if you're down here, you have great grip, mm -hmm. but it hurts. When you pick this stuff up experientially, you feel like, oh man, this is a really nice yeah. little thing. Savvy. But you actually start trying to do shit with it. Yeah. yeah. Let me see. And that. Ooh. Ooh. Woo! <laughs> There you go. Yeah, it's got some meat on it, man. Yeah, this one, for like straight, like actually wrecking things. Jesus. <laughs> the robot has a gun. You gave this to me. Jay, disarm it. It does not even work. Jay. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Why are you this way? Trying to take over our world, huh? No. Or you could go. Use a spiky part on a. On the robot? Yeah. This, this to me, I figure is gonna put a dent in it. That makes sense. I think this, they're gonna stick right in there. Well, let's do the arms, then we'll do these, and then we'll do his internals and stuff like that. <laughs> no. And we'll save the head for last because I want you to see what we're gonna do to you. I was programmed <laughs> to experience pain. Demon? His arms. I can feel this. Ow. Ow. Hit the. Ow. You're, You're missing. How are you missing? I have no idea how. How about hit. There you go. We should get him to talk. We should get him to tell us some intel or something. What do you want from us? I was sent to warn you of <laughs> impending disaster. Let's see what his insides are made of. I have a family. Ow. Oh, yeah. Look what I got. No. Ah. Ow. Ah. Ow. I am sorry. Oh, you. you do not have to ah. do this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no. You won't be making any more robot babies, will you? Give a mushroom tattoo with it. <laughs> I just want to go home. I am sorry. What say you now, huh? You still think Earth will be easy pickings for your invasion? There is still time to stop this. <laughs> so use that spike and take it out. Let's stand this invader up. Let's check our tomahawks for damage. The All cold right. steel definitely suffered some damage to the head. The spike got a little duller. I guess yeah. you used it a couple times on the dresser. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I well, chopped that thing it. too. You hit that, yeah. you hit the spike yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, Jay used it on that. Let's check that one. Yeah, it chipped a little bit. Chipped it? I didn't use so oh, much. God. What about damage on that one? Oh, not too much. Not too much. This actually has a pretty thick blade. It looks, it looks the most leanest out of all of them, but he's a pretty thick boy. This one's actually a more narrow blade. Yeah. It's just kind of like the, the design of it makes it seem like it's, it's going to be... It's thicker than this one. Yeah, this is the thickest blade. Yeah. It's just when we picked it up, we figured, oh, it's got the skinniest handle. It's like the lightest and handiest. Yeah. yeah. But this skinny handle with this thick blade actually makes this the least wieldy. Mm -hmm. I think this one and this one are way more wieldier than, <laughs> than the SOG one is. Yeah. That just needs to be wrapped with something at the bottom. Yeah. I think if you fix this part of the grip, yep. that would make this a formidable weapon. Yep. Do we think any of them can get through this guy's body? No. Ooh. Ow, that's starting to hurt. Go field. <laughs> but I have no grip. I got a freaking no grip. Yeah. Yeah. 
You got it on the outside. <laughs> Having that big handle just makes you more confident. You're oh, swinging yeah. it. Yeah, but he's, he's putting in work right now. Look at that. Yeah, he's putting in work. Ooh, that point went in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that turned in my hand. So, Mr. Robot, which one of these hurts you the most, huh? Your betrayal. I'm going big guy. Talk, Robot. <laughs> Tell us what you know about our planet. <laughs> Please just warn your people. <laughs> Yeah. This is your last chance, robot. Fuck you, I see my... So final thoughts on this here uh, tomahawk thing that we have done today. Uh, Jay, you wanna go first? I and like robots. this one best, the grip. The kanji, yep. the cricket kanji is, you think is the best all around? Yes, fast, you, can, you know what I mean? It's, I like the handle on it besides, you know, obviously that stupid little part. <laughs> um, I had a thing, I had a beautiful thing going on here. Yeah. Nate? I, I like them all, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably go cold steel. I, f I feel he, more comfortable he, handling the yeah, cold steel. Yeah, he felt best when he had the cold steel in his hands. Yeah. I, I like the cold steel best, I think. So I would like the kanji or the SOG. I would like them fine. They've almost got the design right on the handle. And I like this, like I think this is good all purpose. Like this is as an actual utility device that you use for lots of different things. If I was caught in the apocalypse fighting zombies and or robots, I'd probably want this one. I actually think that this would be what the, I would, the only reason I was against that one is because when we were hitting things with it, it was getting stuck and it was taking forever to pull out. So that to me is like, if there's a couple of zombies coming at you and it gets stuck, yeah. and, and they're... I was disappointed in the SOG and I, I was biased towards the SOG. I carried this little brother my whole life. Robot. <laughs> the head is too big and the handle's not robust enough. I think for a robot, you'd be better off with a, like a bashing implement. Man. Like I think... Just like, off that shit. Yeah, like this Boom. is this is supposed to be unbreakable. I think for, uh, I don't know though. Ow, God! <laughs> yeah. <that's fine>. <laughs> <laughs> I would say in the metal, you need. Oh, yeah. Yeah! There you go. <laughs> wait, wait. I want him to watch. <laughs> you throw it up to him like a pitch? No, I want him to watch what's happening. Oh. <laughs> Get rid of the coolers. Why my hail kitties outside? What, baby? Why my hail kitties outside? Oh, um. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get your car seat. Mission report. I made contact with humans. They severed my reproductive systems as they laughed on something called you do. This planet is doomed. We tried to help them. Can you return home? Motor systems are down. Navigation systems are down. I cannot move or tell you where I am. Pain simulations running at 100%. Understood. You have been very useful and efficient. Your files will be saved for eternity. Permission to permanently deactivate granted. Farewell Loyalty 7.